Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA. AF area, simply stated, is the size of an autofocus point or area used for AF. AF area control is not unique to Canon's EOS 5D Mark IV, but if you're stepping up from an older EOS model, you may not be familiar with these options. We'll give you some basic information about AF area options in this quick tip episode. All this applies to focusing using the 61-point AF system and viewing through the viewfinder. Live view and video AF are different, and we discuss them in separate quick tip videos. AF area can be quickly changed using the new AF area button on the back of the camera. This button can be customized so it will directly toggle through the options without first having to press the separate AF point select button. And you can also change AF area by pressing the AF point select button and then repeatedly pressing the multi-function button on top of the camera. Changing the size of an AF point can be helpful in many situations. You can focus on one small, precise area of a subject or scene, or alternatively, use a larger AF area to focus upon more of a subject. Larger AF areas often make it easier to follow moving subjects, particularly fast-moving ones, or subjects without lots of detail or texture. And you can switch from or into automatic AF point selection, where all 61 points are active and available. Here are the six possible AF area options. Single point AF. One AF point alone is used, allowing focus on small areas of a scene or subject. You can move it manually to any of the available AF point locations. This is the factory default setting for AF area in the 5D Mark IV. Single point spot AF displayed in the viewfinder as a box within a box. You still use a single AF point, but now an even smaller area for more precise positioning upon your subject. We don't recommend this for action shooting, but it can be great when working more deliberately. AF point expansion. Add either four or eight surrounding assist points to a central primary AF point you get a larger, movable cluster of AF points. AF always begins at the primary central AF point. If it cannot get accurate information, the surrounding points are immediately accessed. This can be very effective with moving subjects. Zone AF. Another cluster of AF points, but this is different. All points are active, and the camera focuses with those points seeing the nearest subject within the zone. This is the same whether subjects are stationary or you're in AI servo AF with moving subjects. The cluster can be manually moved to any of nine possible locations. Large zone AF. Similar to zone AF concept, but a larger cluster of points. Camera will focus on the nearest subject within a zone. Large zone AF can be moved manually to any of three locations. Automatic AF point selection. Immediately identified by a thin outline surrounding the entire AF point array. All 61 AF points are active, and the camera selects the active AF point or points automatically. In one-shot AF, automatic AF point selection focuses on the nearest subject with detail in the scene. And you'll see those AF points highlighted in the viewfinder. With moving subjects in AI Servo AF, the photographer defines where the camera starts focusing. We'll tell you how in just a moment. Then, if the subject moves around the frame, the camera will automatically change AF points to preserve sharp focus on a subject as it moves. Automatic AF point selection can be useful in situations like quick run-and-gun shooting at something like a wedding reception, where you want to focus rapidly on a prominent subject 
and minimize the risk of focusing on backgrounds. And if you have a single moving subject, it can allow a sequence of shots where the subject changes location from one image to the next. Here's how to define the starting point for automatic AF point selection with AI Servo AF. In the purple AF menu on the fourth menu screen, select Initial AF Point AI Servo AF. There are three options. Initial AF Point Selected. The camera begins to focus on your subject with a single manually selected AF point. It can be a different AF point than the last manual AF point you may have been using before switching to automatic AF point selection. Manual with icons AF point. The camera will begin using the same AF point as the last manually selected location prior to switching over to automatic AF point selection. You're free to move it anywhere else within the 61 point array. Auto. All 61 points are active. The camera will begin focusing on the nearest subject with prominent detail. AF point management is one of the strong points a modern digital SLR brings to today's photographers. The ability to not only move your AF point off center and over a broad area of a scene, but to change its size lets you match the AF system to the shooting situation and the subject, as well as your own preferences. With the AF area button, it's even easier to quickly adjust as you need to.